everybody it's tina cooking again <laughs> be warned <laughs> what i'm going to do uh, i've got to i want to introduce you to a new air fryer you know i love my air fryers i love my air fryer oven and um i'm also going to do a couple of recipes now this air fryer was sent to me by uh Ultanek, daniel uh Ultanek, who's been really good he um he sent me a while ago i don't know if you remember the chef free um air fryer uh which i love but i did pass on to my sister-in-law because i do have um an air fryer oven which i love um now i won't be passing this one on to anybody i'll be telling you uh, now what happened was my sister-in-law absolutely loves it by the way so daniel got in contact with me and said did i want to try the alternate just let me show you the dual draw one well of course I've never used a dual draw one. This is it. I'll show you the real thing in a minute. But it's hard. it takes half the time that it would for anything else. And it just shows you what it can do. Um, roasting, uh, baking, can do cakes, chips, dry fruit. That's dehydrated fruit and, and cook fish. And it's a sink finish. So what actually happens is you can cook it. You can cook two different things in the air fryer uh, that require different times and you can just sink it so that they sink together and they finish at the same time. Now I've been trialing this and it's brilliant. Uh, I will show you, um, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, I did a, a fillet steak and I did some uh, light little roast potatoes, little, um, potatoes that I do with paprika um, now I'll show you those later in the video and that's where I synced it was amazing absolutely amazing I, I couldn't believe how easy it was and what little washing up there was as well so anyway today I'm just going to show it you the air fryer I wanted to try it out so that I could give you an honest review and uh, it says it's two times efficient cooking sink cooking sink finish a large capacity so it's got a six seven point six uh, litre capacity and it's high power so i can throw that box away now i don't need it anymore <laughs> so anyway this is the air fryer just let me show you um switch it on now it's got can you see here just let me bring you over it's got a left drawer and a oh sorry i shouldn't have done that a left draw and a right draw. Now today, on. so it's got a left draw and a right draw. And if you want to sink them, I'll show you in the other video, um, in, later in the video, when I cook in both baskets. Now what I'm going to cook in this is, it's a, a recipe that I've got from the BBC food recipe side that I've adapted myself. I've adapted it myself and changed it a little bit and making it suitable for air fryer because it wasn't an air fryer recipe. So I'm going to just use the left hand, the left hand um, drawer. These are the drawers. They're both a nice size. They've both got a plate in like that so you can, you know, you can like grill in them and things like that. It's so good. It keeps it, you know, oil free and things like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one drawer and I've got some chicken breasts, uh, sorry, chicken thighs here, which I'm going to put in them. Let's see if I can just tilt you down so you can see. I might not get all these in. I'll see if I can. Because I will have to freeze some of this because it's far too much for me and my son. Oh yes, I'm going to be able to get them all in. So that's eight chicken thighs I've put in there. Just let me throw this away and wash my hands. I just need to wash my hands because I did handle that with my hands. Right, now, um, what I've done is to make it easier, I'm going to put this recipe in the description box so in here there's like um well i suppose it's like a marionade i've made and in here there's honey i'll put all the measurements 
because you know I probably you, you know me I, I won't have measured <laughs> but I will put the proper measurements in the um description box I'll, I'll put the recipe in uh, but as I say I've adapted it for the air fryer so I'll just tell you how long I'm going to cook it so in here there's some sesame oil well I didn't have any sesame oil so I'll just put a bit of ordinary oil in um there's hoisin sauce um I grated some ginger uh, some five spices and then some honey some runny honey and seasoning so what I'm going to do now is pour this over. I'm going to pour this over the chicken and mix it in. Now, ideally, you should marinate this, but to be truthful, I haven't got time. But if I did have time, I would soak it in here and marinate them for about two hours. But really, I, I just haven't got time, so I'm going to, I don't think it'll make a great deal of difference. Now I'm going to serve this with rice. So, I've asked Alexa how long chicken thighs take. I'll do it again. Alexa, how long do I cook chicken thighs in the air fryer? It is recommended to bake chicken thigh in the air fryer for 18 minutes at 204.4 degrees Celsius. Thank you, Alexa. Like so, 18 degrees. So, I'm going to put this in the left hand side. So, I'm going to press on left. And I've got it at 200 degrees. It's at 200 degrees and it's come up for 20 minutes. So, what I will do is I'm going to... Um, put a timer on Alexa for 15 minutes and come back and just check. So I'm pressing the start button. Alexa, can you give me a timer in 15 minutes? 15 minutes, starting now. Because what I want to do is in 15 minutes, I'm going to add some chopped some chopped spring onions, some cashew nuts, and when I was at Aldi, they've got this pineapple 75% off. Now, this isn't in the recipe, but I'm going to put it in. So it'll be up to you whether you do that or not. Uh, but it's fresh pineapple, and it tastes delicious. And then I'm going to put in some cashew nuts as well. So, um, I'll, I'll, I'll write down the way I've adapted this and I'll copy the BBC recipe. So we'll have to see how this goes. Now I've been so impressed with this. Um, I love the fact that you, because I love my air fryer oven, but you can't put, you know, you can't put things in like this and sink them at different times. I know I'm not doing that today, but I will be doing it in my later recipe, um, which I've already filmed. <laughs> so I'll see you in 15 minutes. So it, it means that there's three minutes left, so I'm just going to stop it now and take out. Now can you see, just let me show you how it's cooked. Isn't that amazing? Now what I'm going to do is add the other ingredients now. I'll put it on for a few more minutes. So I'm going to, oh, it smells, it smells delicious. So I'm going to add some cashew nuts and some spring onions. A few of the nuts have gone on the floor. I think my dog is eating them. And because I've got this pineapple, I'm actually going to put quite a bit of this pineapple in. This isn't in the recipe, but Pineapple's always nice with Chinese, isn't it? Perhaps not put it all in, but put a good three quarters in. So can you see that? So I'm going to put that in now for another three minutes. 
meanwhile, I'm going to cook some rice. So I'll get that to you in three minutes time. Now I'm just going to use a bag of coconut all day, um, microwave rice. Now this is really good. I, I, I use it a lot and it only takes two minutes. I mean, we can all cook rice, but who really wants to? It's messy. Right, so I had to put it on for another, put the um, on for another five minutes. So that's twenty five minutes it took, um, because the in internal temperature of the um, chicken wasn't right. Um, so I I'm now going to plate it up. It's come out of the air fryer, um, and I'll dish it up, and then I'll let you I'll let you see it. Um, so it's like I've put it on two hundred degrees for twenty five minutes. Okay, just bear to with me. increase the time, you come over to this side here and you press that. So, if you wanted it like 18 minutes, you'd come down. I don't know if you can see that. And up. And then on this side, that increases the temperature. So, this is the final dish. And I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> it certainly looks nice. And I may sprinkle a little bit of hoisin sauce over the rice. Right, so today I'm going to use the Ultimate Dual Air Fryer. Can you see it there? Um, to cook. Now, I've never cooked steak in the air fryer before, but I'm going to give it a try. And I'm going to make um, some flavoured potatoes. Now what I've done is I've chopped up some little salad potato and I've also chopped up half an onion. So I'm going to mix those together. I'm going to mix those together in this bowl. Let me just show you. I could have done with a bigger bowl really, but it's going to go in the air fryer in a minute. So it doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to put a couple of gloves of olive oil on. I've never made this before, so I don't know how it will turn out. We'll have to see. Um, but I've got a little tip for using. If you have an Alexa, uh, and then I'm going to put some paprika on. Not one of my just spices for a change. Oh, that's the end of my paprika. Or paprika, as some people say. So I'm going to mix that all up. Put a little bit, I don't use a lot of salt, but I may just put a little bit of salt on. Salt's not good for you, but it does add to the flavouring, so I'll put a little bit of salt on. So I'm going to tip them in the left hand drawer of the air fryer. You see. So this is my little tip. Alexa, how long do you cook small roast potatoes for in the air fryer? From Trusapiers.com. Roast potatoes in air fryer for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown and crispy. We'll say that's 190, which is probably what I've put it on anyway. So 190 degrees for 25 minutes. I think what I'll do is I'll put it on for 20 minutes and come back and see. Or maybe should I do it for 25 because I'm going to put the steak in and sink it. So, Alexa, how long should a cook fillet steak for in the air fryer? It is recommended to fry filet mignon tenderloin steak in the air fryer for 10 minutes at 190.6 degrees Celsius. Thank With you. Filet mignon and cook for an additional five minutes. Right, so um, I've seasoned this. Now I, I've, I've soaked it in a little bit of oil. I've just sprayed the oil on with a bit of spray and I've seasoned it. Um, I've used the meat all round the seasoning, but whatever seasoning you want to use. So I'm going to put this, let's come down here, in the right hand drawer. So, just let me wash my hands. If I don't do that on camera, somebody will be telling me. <laughs> right, so 
here we go. So, switch the air fryer on. Left side. So, uh, we want it at 190 degrees for 25 minutes there. So, I would just go up here to 25. And then we go to the right drawer. Now, we want that on 190 for 10 minutes. So, what we need to do now is to sync these. So I press the sync button here and then I press start. And you can see it's holding the steak. It's not going to cook the steak yet because it's cooking those. And these two will sync and hopefully we'll check them after the 20 minutes. So I'll come back to you in the 20 minutes. Right, we're coming to the end um, of the time now. I don't know if you can see it. Um, there's 42 seconds left and it this what happened was this side was on hold for like 19 minutes and then um, when it got to 10 minutes this side kicked in um, I did check to make sure that it had happened and it had so we nearly I, I, we'll have to see how they've gone I did give the uh, potatoes a bit of a shake beforehand uh, but you know before I um, sort of halfway through I would say. Made a little bit of a salad. Um, I'm ha hoping to slice this steak and share it between my son and myself because um, we were having it at the weekend but he had his but I wasn't feeling very well so I didn't have mine. So that's why I'm cooking. So it's cooling down now. You can see it says cool. So I'm just going to take the steak out in a moment and let it rest for a little bit there we are end now that's the steak now I've never cooked a steak in the air fryer before so I've absolutely no idea uh, whether the timing is right you know I may have to adjust it because I do like it medium rare um, I'll just put that in there and just let it rest a little bit so that was the steak um, and it's so easy just to wash them just to put them and wash them and then the potatoes, can you see the potatoes? They're looking really good. Let's just test them to see if they're done. Yes, yes, they're lovely. So I'll just let the steak rest a bit and I'll come back to you in a few moments. I'll leave that in there so it'll keep it warm. Right, I'm going to slice the steak now and we'll see how it is. I've just let it rest for a few minutes. I let it rest for about five minutes, that's all. Uh, because I wanted to show you the video. Right, so let's just see how it is. That's perfect for me. Absolutely perfect. So, let's serve it up. So I'm going to slice this. Oh, I shall definitely cook them like that again. The juices are running beautifully. So, a lot of juices. Perhaps I should have let it rest a little bit longer. But here we are. I'll just pop the salad on. What I've done is I've put some, you know I love my just spices. Well I've just put this original salad topping on. Uh, I do like that. Now my son will have some salad but he doesn't like tomatoes and cucumber. So I've made his separate. So, what do you think? I'm really amazed at that, for doing that in the air fryer. 
I didn't have to watch anything. I just popped them in and it looks amazing, doesn't it? Well, right, so here I am again. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed those um, air fryer recipes and me showing you that fabulous um, air fryer. I've never tried a dual draw one before and I did really like it. I found it really useful. Um, I have used it quite a few times. And if you like it, I'll come on with some more recipes, um, you know, later on. I have a few other videos to do, but I, I can try and do some more recipes for you. Now, Ultanec have got a really good offer on at the moment with my discount code. Um, with If you use my discount code, uh, you'll get £62 off, which is an awful lot. And it, it'll end up costing you, just let me check. It'll only end up costing you £97.99 with the £60, £62 discount code off. Uh, so if you were thinking of getting one, it might be worth you clicking on the link and having a look at it. I can certainly recommend it. Um, and I'm not just saying that because they've gifted it me. They have gifted it me. They haven't paid for the video, but they've gifted me uh, the air fryer, which I'm really pleased about. Uh, and I will use in the future and do some more recipes for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you are interested, I'll put all the information in the description box, along with the recipe for the chicken. Okie dokie. So see you in my next video. And if you like the video and you'd like to describe, oh, to describe, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Subscribe, please do. It really helps me out. Thank you. Bye.